History states that it's harder to stay at the top than to get to the top. This remained true just 24 hours after the Extreme Rules pay-per-view when Pete Dunne retained his coveted Intercontinental Championship in an international affair against Finn Balor. The Bruiserweight was set for in-ring action when out of a dark dungeon emerged a black heart targeting the Intercontinental Champion and sending a message heard round the world. Tommaso Ciampa laid out the blueprint clear as day. His goal was to turn his black heart into a gold reward and achieve the historic title. Ciampa wanted to travel down his own path and meet Pete Dunne at every crossroads to remind him what was coming next. Commotion made its way through the curtain on August 22nd on Raw when a brawl that ensued in the locker room spilled out into the arena. After weeks of bruising brawls, Champa would take things to the next level by sending Pete Dunne for a fall to the concrete depths of pain. Pete Dunne was lucky to find no serious injuries in the incident, but showed face on this past week's main event, sporting bandages from the shoulder to the rib cage. Nothing will stop the bruiserweight from dragging anything that's left onto the battlefield. Only then will Pete Dunne adapt and walk away victorious or will ultimately perish trying to do so. Champa has found the champion in an opportune state, but will the weeks of ambush only drive Pete Dunne to survive and thrive under the conditions? For the Blackheart, his goal is to walk away the Intercontinental Champion by any means necessary, but for the Bruiserweight, this goes deeper than just another championship defense. Dunne wants retribution on the man who tried to put him on the shelf. No matter the condition, Pete Dunne will come out swinging, but will his anger only fuel his downfall, or will it be what propels him? into championship immortality.